Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I've got a few tips about colour palettes. So the first one is bringing a colour palette in from another file, so you've already done a colour palette in a different file, you can bring them in. So you just go File, Append, find a previous file where you used the palette, and in Palettes you have your palette. It's quite simple really. Click on that, Append from Library, and then come across to the Colour Palette section over here. I'm in the Texture Paint tab of course. Click on that and you've got a drop down menu now and palette. And there you've got your palette that you used last time. This is especially useful if you're doing mobile assets and you can keep consistency with all your objects. So if you don't already know how to add colors to your color palette, let's say I fill in a color here. If I hold down S on my keyboard, I get the color picker and I can then left click and that color will then appear in my palette. You can remove colors by clicking the minus sign or you can add colors. So whatever you choose here, you can then add and it will appear in your palette. And one last point with color palettes, you can always bring in a piece of artwork and sample from that. So if I split this area, for example, and you can have your paint area at the bottom and you can load up an image here or you can just drag one in. And they're really easy to find on the internet. You can just type in color palette and say autumn or spring or whatever it might be. I can then just sample these colors and they all appear in my color palette down here. It doesn't have to be a color palette, it can be a piece of concept art. So I drag something else in, and I can then sample from this. And you can see them all appearing down here. If you want your image as a reference to stay there, you just pin it. And that way this won't change at all when you're changing objects in the scene. Okay, so a quick one for today, I hope that helps, and I'll see you next time.